I guess uh, let's start with Alave. Uh, talk about his much anticipated return to Rio Tinto and also his performance tonight, if you could. Yeah, I think he was he was solid. He was you know he was aggressive. Um, you know, I think our, our shape in the back at times wasn't particularly good as we were going forward. Um, some some weird choices by by everyone on the whole field. Um, uh, but you know, it's great to have him back. Uh, and I, you know, I thought he I thought he did a good job. How do you address the weird choices going into? I mean, does a bye week at this point help you guys? Yeah, yeah. I, th I mean, obviously, but uh, I think a, a good video session will help a lot too. You know, when, when you can really show, uh, you know, for myself as well, uh, uh, but for the players, and you just talk about, you know, why did you make this choice, or what were you thinking in this play? And uh, usually, when you open up the lines of communication and and sh and talk and look at things, uh, things get resolved. Was that a penalty? Uh, Luke's? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, I, he just showed me a big uh, mark on his, on his uh, um, what do you call it, shin. Yeah. Without a doubt, I, he told me it was. It's an interesting match and just the, the goals, the timing of the goals right after you score, they score again. I mean, yeah. do you feel relieved to get a 3-3 draw in this game considering kind of the oddity of it? I wouldn't say relieved. Um, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, the score is probably the right score. You know, I thought we did enough to win. Obviously, when you score three goals at home, you typically are going to walk away with victory. Uh, but we did enough to lose the game as well. Um, but I thought our team showed a lot of resilient resiliency in, in, in fighting back and, and sticking together and, and staying aggressive. Um, but there's things we need to work on. You know, I just told the guys uh, after after the game that if we thought this was the finished product, we, we we're fooling ourselves. We're going to continually get better. We're going to learn how to be aggressive and defensive at the same time. And you've seen two different games from us. Um, and that's, that's, that, that's pretty much the signs of a team that's doing new things, right? Um, you know, and, and the more we get better uh, on both sides of the ball, and even better with our passing as well. I thought it was just a little bit off tonight at times. Um, we're going to be a very, very good team uh, heading down the stretch, that's for sure. I know in the preseason, or right before the opener, you talked about this new formation, you can get caught and stretched defensively. Was tonight that example of that where you were kind of scrambling a lot? Yeah, you know, I mean, we definitely got caught. I would say their goals, uh, you know, the, the first one, DeMar kind of takes a touch negatively, gets it stolen, which is really odd. You know, uh, then it's a quick throw, and then and then it's a deflection. So there's three really odd goals that I wouldn't think are, are going to happen too often. Um, so, but we need to share that up. But even our, our, our choices, sometimes passing in the midfield, uh, if you miss the ball or miss the pass by a little bit, it can lead them off into a counter. Uh, on another night, I think we make those passes, and then we're still getting at them. Uh, but we have to be really mindful of if we lose the ball, uh, what shape are we in? You have a lot more size than most teams in this league, and you had a lot of opportunities on set pieces. Would you like to see more? come out of those going into the, you know? The yeah, I mean, I thought we were extremely dangerous on set plays all, all tonight. You know, uh, their goalkeeper came for a few balls, did really well. Uh, Javier's service was fantastic. Uh, and I felt like the runs that we made in the box were good. Uh, we, you know, again, it's, you know, it's the beginning of the year. We need to get better in every area. Uh, but it's definitely an area that we're, we want to get better and better. But, you know, we scored on a free kick today, dangerous on others. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm actually pleased with our, our, our set plays. What did, uh, what did Luke kind of bring into the game there? Obviously, the sub his substitution was pretty big with the PK, but what did he kind of bring in tonight in that second half for Luis? Yeah, you know, I mean, I thought Javier and Luis did a lot of good things. I just wanted to bring fresh legs. I wanted to, uh, I'd mentioned to Luke uh, before he went on that those midfield runs in, in behind, it, they're the, they, they're almost unstoppable uh, if the timing's right and and he made a great run. I can't remember who played him the ball. Uh, was it Tony? Someone played him the ball. Fantastic run and and, and you know when you're putting pressure on a team uh, in their in their 18 yard box, uh, it, it, you either follow them or you let them go. So, how does this formation change for a guy like Javi? He's on the ball way more it seems like, and you guys were utilizing his abilities. You know, whether through run of play or, or on set pieces. 
Yeah, you know, he can he can kind of drift around, find the game, uh, and then you still have somebody else in that area defensively to help out as well. Um, so you know he's he's able to get on the ball more. I mean that's 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 why we tried to change formation to to suit some people's strengths. I, you know I thought you you saw Olmes tonight. You saw Sabo being that target forward and Olmes making great runs and and Sebastian making great runs and uh, and then our outside backs getting forward. So there was flashes of of what we're capable of. Um, now it's doing it for longer stretches and and also just making sure we're a little bit better with the ball. What did you think of DeMar Phillips' first action, left back coming in? He subbed him off late, but what did you think his early returns are? Well, you know, he, he, he's coming off of a hamstring injury. Um, I thought he got forward at the right times and did a lot of good things. Uh, I thought it probably wasn't his best night on the ball. Um, but normally, typically, he's he's very good with the ball and makes great decisions. Uh, but I thought it was overall a, a, a good night, not a great night. Um, but but positive.